Hello, Moroni Prime here yet again with another Transformers video review. This figure is from the Generation 1 series, Series 4 out of that generation, 1987. The leader of the Technobots, the Autobot Berserker Scattershot. This figure is the leader of the Technobot team, which was a combiner team of the Scramble City variety. Uh, back during the late third season of the television show, uh, <clears throat> just prior to the end of the series, there would be another three years in Generation 1 in the toy lines, but uh, this year was probably the last out of the uh, really, really great figures before they all became the notorious bricks that we're all accustomed to hearing about. Uh, so anyway, let's get started. This mode is the alternate vehicle mode that you would uh, standardly see him in. You've got your uh, landing gear up front here. Notice the cannons built into either leg. They're kind of small there. Uh, plus one up top as well as different missile pods on either wing. Uh, that's not his only armament. <coughs> Push the button up top here and the Fuselage splits into, let me get my finger out of the way here. And a larger cannon emerges from the nose cone. A lot of folks don't realize it, but uh, there is a cockpit. It's tiny to give you an idea of the scale that Scattershot is supposed to be. That's supposed to be a full jet cockpit, so this shuttle mode is actually meant to be rather massive by comparison to a lot of other figures in the in the series. I would I would say they probably intended him to be larger than Skylinks uh in, in the storyline. Anyhow <coughs> uh transformation is as follows. You uh raise the landing gear there and rotate this forty five degrees. It just it unclips. The mode we're going to first off is going to be the robot mode, which it's the uh, easiest to get to. The other one it requires uh, a little bit of accessory uh, add-on to accomplish, so we're going to skip that for the moment. Uh, take this whole wing section, it rotates down at this joint, 180 degrees, do that on either side, same direction. Now this is where some folks tend to get confused. This here, on some figures, will have the rub symbol that Transformers are uh, famous for having. Uh, <clears throat> there's a mold variation where some of them have that and others do not. This one does not uh, because in, in 1987, in mid-production run, they ceased the rub symbols. So uh, 1988 figures on up did not have them, uh, so far as I know, or if, if they do. I don't know of any places where they would uh, been of, have meant to have been. Anyway, take the wings, rotate them back 45 degrees either way. This is the front. I can't stress that enough. There are some people, they will transform them the wrong way and make this the front, which would result in the notorious, unfortunate, uh, non-child-friendly rude mode that this figure is also infamous and famous for. So we'll put the wings back how they were. The uh, top section that where the gun was will actually become the left arm so you will pivot this 45 degrees counterclockwise. <coughs> then you take and you release the arms. I probably should have done that prior to turning the torso but no big deal. As long as you're gentle with it you can still uh, get the arms out without damaging the figure. And then once you've got the arms out, take the wrists and angle them down. Now some folks, to keep the lower arm straight, will do that for the robot mode. Honestly, that looks ghastly. It looks awful. The closest thing I could come to that looks halfway decent is to kind of do that with the arms. That way they still look fairly straight for the most part. Next, we will 
flip the thing around, take the cannon the rest of the way up, and it'll not clip in, it'll just rest up against the back. There's a little niche back here for the landing gear to go into. It just rests up there in that position. Take the rear part there and it'll go down into this hole here and it will snap. Not very loudly I might have, but it's a secure fit. That is the chest plate. Then the head simply pulls up. There you have the robot mode for scattershot. <clears throat> now he has two other modes. The third mode I'd mentioned is a cannon mode. Um, first off, yes, scattershot has a gun, his acid pellet gun he can hold in robot mode. Also two other accessories he comes with are the shoulder blasters. Those, uh, a lot of folks display them with those in the shoulders. These have the ports, just like the scramble style head combiner connections. Uh, that's essentially what that is. I don't really use them all that much. Sometimes I'll put them on there just so I don't lose them. Anyway, third mode, head down, chest plate up. And you take the cannon down. Angle the wrists up to the sides. Rotate the upper torso. Put the arms in. Now this is where it gets a little interesting. Rotate the legs up as if you were going to shuttle mode. And then take the front of the jet up like that. But don't straighten the wings. Instead you're going to take the, the legs as they are bend them backwards, reverse knee joint, one click. Leave them like that. Your figure should look like that. You have the cannon on top. If not, then you have them upside down and backwards, and you're wrong. This is where another accessory comes in. This here is a piece of landing gear for scattershot. As I found, it can be used in the jet configuration. I did not do that because there are stickers on the shoulder, on the front and back of the shoulders of the arms that uh, will rub off if you put that on, a rub on this joint, or on this side here and this side here, uh, because the contacts are so snug and you'll destroy your stickers. Uh, I am the second owner of this particular scatter shot. A good friend of mine is the original owner. He was in his 20s in 1987, so he has taken very good care of it for the past quarter century. Um, so yeah, very, very pristine figure. Anyway, this accessory is also the Computron chest plate, and it has a groove, I don't know how you can see it, there and there. There are little niches uh, on the sides here. I'll just take it, you know, slide on like so. It doesn't click on, if I can get it straight, I'll rest on like so. Then you take and push the button as we saw earlier, release the magic cannon. And there you have Scattershot in his gun emplacement configuration. Kind of a mobile cannon or rocket launcher, whatever you want to call it, battle station. That is the third mode. Scattershot is one of a few Scramble City combiners that does not have a base uh, third mode, such as uh, Motormaster or Hotspot, um, but instead has a weapons platform mode. So it's, it's rather unique. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the fourth mode, just so I can see I've done a full review. So we'll go back this general direction. I'm not going to say what I'm doing as I'm doing it because that would be kind of redundant. You can actually watch the video and see what I'm doing. Know what's what because you've already seen me transform the figure twice. So, that's what we're doing so far. Next. Oop, wrong way. Okay, see what I'm doing here? Yeah. Well, except for the cannon, that goes up. This is Scattershot's configuration for the torso of Computron. This is where a couple accessories come into play. 
The Computron chest plate will attach similarly to how it did in the Canon mode. And if your little grooves on the side here, it just slides snugly into place, clamp down. Notice the scattershot chest plate and the scattershot fist help complete the illusion of a full and complete chest plate or torso. Um, and the other accessory that's essential for this is the Computron head, which it has a little clip on the inside here. I don't know if you can see that little red tab. That will hit the grooves on uh, Scattershot's head here, and it will fit rather snugly. There you have Computron's torso. I will do the limbs later on, but that's a different review altogether. One thing I do want to note, you could do this in robot mode too. Between the chest plate and the little tab here and back, these are tabs that otherwise hold the chest plate snugly in vehicle mode. However, they also have a dual purpose that nobody has noticed and is not logged in the instructions. The width of this tab and the hinge here is the exact width of the scramble style pegs. One shoulder cannon down here, pops in place. One shoulder cannon here, slides right down. This does not stress the plastic, it does not break the figure. I like this because it helps to give a place to actually put some of the accessories without just having them lie around, which is something Generation 1 figures were notorious for. Also gives them a little added uh, artillery there. <clears throat> Not that he necessarily needed it. So, there you have it. Autobot Technobot Leader Scattershot. That's with an ER, not an OR, like that uh, wannabe from Cybertron. This is the original scatter shot. As the tech spec called him, I believe it was, he was a bragging, brawling berserker who uh, enters battles with guns blazing, you know, shoot first, ask questions later. Kind of a B.A. Baracus type of character. Which, frankly, is probably one of my favorite type of character. If not my most favorite, maybe. There's a few others that are kind of up there, but uh, this is definitely in the top three. So, there you have it. I went ahead and connected the cannons just to make everybody happy. Or, if you like, and I'm only going to do this slightly, I'm not going to push down, I'm not going to destroy my stickers, but you can attach the shoulder to the chest plate. I'm only going to dangle it off here so you can see what I'm talking about. If you want to put it on any more snug than that, it's your stickers, your figure, do what you want. He has a shield, an arm mounted shield. Overall, I would give this figure a. Honestly, for Generation 1, I'd give him a 9 out of 10. I mean, really, the level of articulation is uncanny for a Generation figure, especially a on the verge of the brick former years. I mean you've had you have an articulated wrist and elbow joint, not to mention a shoulder, the waist that pivots, although you have the cannon out of the way a little bit, but all the same, still waist articulation even though limited. Hip, knee. I mean it is just an incredible figure for its time. Nine out of ten. That's my final score, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. This has been Moroni Prime, once again, wasting your time.